All right, Adi, I know that I have complained in the past about your lack of enthusiasm, but it's a new year and I'm shooting on a new camera, so I say we just wipe the slate clean and start fresh with the good news videos from here on out. What do you say? I agree. Hey, folks, are you ready for some good news? First up, researchers have created a new material that is reminiscent of everyone's favorite mutant, Wolverine. Don't get too excited, they haven't invented adamantium. Researchers at the University of California, Riverside have actually created a transparent, flexible material that heals itself when damaged. Which, now that I think about it, doesn't so much suggest Wolverine as the natural healing process in general, of which many living things are capable. I guess that Wolverine-inspired material headline I read was just bait, huh? Well, it worked. More power to you, headline writers. Trick the kids into reading about advancement in material science. Anyway, about the material itself. It's a rubber-like material that can stretch to 50 times its original length, made of self-healing polymers that can reattach to each other after their bonds are broken, allowing the material to heal itself after suffering damage. The material was used to build an artificial muscle. After being cut, it was able to completely heal itself with no external stimuli and resume its operations, performing at the same level as it had before being cut. The paper on this self-healing material is printed in the journal Advanced Materials. Next up, scientists have used the world's smallest diamonds to make the world's thinnest wires. Scientists at the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory and Stanford University have created electrical wires measuring a mere three atoms thick using diamondoids, the smallest possible pieces of diamond. The diamondoids, tiny molecular cages containing only 10 carbon atoms, don't comprise the wire itself, merely the structure surrounding it. Carbon and sulfur atoms are attached to the diamondoids, which assemble into a rigid structure with the diamondoids on the outside and the carbon and sulfur forming a semiconducting core on the inside. The same method that allows the scientists to build these nanowires a few atoms at a time should also allow them to design and build new metamaterials with incredible precision, materials precisely tuned to have particular properties. The diamondoid nanowires could be adapted for use in LEDs or piezoelectric generators. The paper on these nanowires is published in the journal Nature Materials. And finally, engineers at Tufts University have created a new kind of programmable silk. Don't think silk cloth with this one, more like fibroin, the protein that gives silk fibers their durability. Silk protein can be used to build durable, solid objects. And now, thanks to the Tufts researchers, it can also be used to build objects programmed for specific mechanical functions. For example, they can make silk fibroin screws that can be heated by exposure to infrared light, or a surgical pin that changes color when it's nearing its limit and is about to fail. The potential applications for this technology once it's fully developed are staggering. Imagine tools or building materials that can respond to surrounding conditions or give a visual indication of when they're about to break down. Imagine durable but biocompatible devices for sustained drug release. All of that and more thanks to a protein produced by a spider. The paper is published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Scientists invent a self-healing material, use the world's tiniest diamonds to make the world's thinnest electrical wire, and create durable, programmable objects using silk protein. Big week for material science, huh? That's the good news. Well, folks, I think I speak for both of us when I say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks again for watching. 
and we'll see you next time.